What is the science behind these technologies? The history of humanity is fascinating. We've made some progress, but it's clear that previous civilizations were powerful and creative. They developed many incredible technologies, and some of their ideas were far ahead of their time. Archaeologists and historians can generally explain most of the ancient technologies, but there are still a lot of mysteries and questions to be answered. Unidentified objects are frequently credited to aliens, but perhaps it's time we recognized our ancestors for inventions. The following are some of the most ancient technologies that scientists have explained. Clepsydra. Clepsydra is also known as a water clock, and it is a container for the liquid that measures the passage of time using a system of regulated fluid inflow into, inflow type, or out from, outflow type, a vessel and where the amount is then measured. Water clocks were not invented until recently, and it is uncertain when or where they were first created. Water clocks were the most accurate timepieces until the pendulum clock, 1656, was invented. One of the oldest time measuring devices is a water clock. Around the 16th century BC, the bowl-shaped outflow emerged in Babylon, Egypt, and Persia. Water clocks have been discovered in various parts of the world, including India and China, but the earliest dates are less specific. Odometer An odometer, also known as an odograph, is a device that measures the distance traveled by a motorized vehicle, such as a bicycle or automobile. The invention relates to a device that is either electrical, mechanical, or a combination of the two, electromechanical. The term odometer, which derives from the ancient Greek meaning path measure, was initially used by the ancient Chinese and Greeks to quantify distances and aid in constructing roads and pathways. The odometer was invented by Hero of Alexandria in ancient Greece, and Zhang Heng of the Han Dynasty independently invented it in China. These early devices were two-wheeled pull carts with a measuring system, similar to a chariot or carriage. The odometer has been used in automobiles for almost a century, yet it originated long ago in the Greco-Roman world and ancient China. Odometers were entirely mechanical when the ancient Greeks invented this beneficial instrument. Over the years, designs have changed, but the primary purpose has remained consistent. Before these were created, Horse-drawn carts utilize the rods to determine distance. They've long been employed to measure things like cars, bicycles, and even back when horses pulled carriages. Astrolabe The Persian city of Isfahan is where the astrolabe was produced in about 1715, which is now in Iran. It's a mythological device that was once a portable universe model. The astrolabe was an ancient astronomical multi-tool invented around 200 BCE. The antiquity of the technology, which antedates written records by thousands of years, is revealed by its tiny size. It's not only a portable model of the world, but it may also be used as an inclinometer, a navigational tool, a clock, a basic calculator, and even a religious gadget. The astrolabe was initially invented in ancient Greece, but it was further developed and refined during the medieval Islamic world and in Europe during Middle Ages. The engraved lines on the astrolabe's surface indicate a section of the celestial sphere above the horizon, while the tiny demarcations around the perimeter represent hours. To view the star chart at a specific time of day, astronomers moved the rotating piece in the center around the surface disk. Antikythera Mechanism the Antikythera mechanism is an ancient Greek hand-powered orrery believed to be the world's oldest example of a digital computer used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses decades in advance. It is a bronze artifact that has submerged in the sea for around 2,000 years since its discovery by divers. For so long, the complicated mechanism remained a mystery, no one knew its origin or use. However, in the 1970s and 1990s, X-ray imaging revealed that it had previously been used to fake the motions of the sky, unlike the astronomical remains that make the Antikythera mechanism far too advanced for its date, no other artifact in history compares. Some have dubbed the Antikythera mechanism an ancient computer, while others claim it's a piece of extraterrestrial spacecraft technology. It's incredible to think that our forefathers could imagine and create such a mechanism a century ago given the knowledge and materials they had thousands of years ago.
Amazingly, they were able to conceive of it and execute it. Housing Didong Yi, Zhang Heng was an inventor, engineer, astronomer, and scientist in ancient China. The magnificent ancient seismograph he constructed is undoubtedly one of the most remarkable antiquities he ever produced. The Chinese people of ancient times did not understand that earthquakes were caused by tectonic movement. People thought that the powerful quakes were attributed to a lack of yin and yang harmony and God's displeasure with the existing dynasty. On the other hand, Zhang Heng believed earthquakes were caused by wind and air. Thus, he created the Seism Scope, which allowed him to identify the source of a quake more than 100 miles away. According to an inscription, the device had a dragon head with eight tubes and a bronze ball that would drop into one of the frogs below. The seismic wave was represented as if it were a compass, heading in this manner. A handle and a right-angle lever on the inside of the gear raised the matching dragon head according to the planet's change. The device's original mechanism has never been duplicated since then. Heron's Fountain, the 1st century AD inventor, mathematician, and physicist Heron of Alexandria created the hydraulic machine. Heron gathered data on the pressure of air and steam, invented the first steam engine, and created toys that sprayed water, one of which was called Heron's Fountain. Heron's fountains are still used today in physics lessons as a demo of hydraulic and pneumatically concepts. Heron's fountain is a type of water feature widespread in the 18th and 19th centuries. The fountain gets its name from its similarity to how a heron drinks, tilting its head back and dipping its beak into the water. Hydraulics Technology Daniel Bernoulli, a Swiss mathematician, tested the concept in 1738. He utilized water pressure in mills and pumps. The first hydraulic press was created by an Englishman named Joseph Brahma in 1975. This allowed machinery to cut and stamp materials, laying the groundwork for the Industrial Revolution. Hydraulic systems use fluids in pipes and channels to create mechanical force or influence. Hydraulics are essential in engineering since they allow for the transportation of heavier loads and provide greater power than electrical, pneumatic, or automated systems. Hydraulics began to be used in modern society with diverse and significant applications. Thank you for watching.